What's up, guys, and welcome back to Channel Flash, and welcome back to the episode of Flashcraft. This is episode nine, and we're really, really close to reaching the ten episode mark. It's not really a mark; it's not even a mark. And I'm really lagging out because I'm currently in this AFK Zombie Pikmin Gold Farm, which is basically my free free fit. It's very, very efficient, as you see. And I think I'm gonna start all my episodes here from now on. But yeah, so today we'll be doing some lots of chores. And what do I mean by chores is because they will be just be messing around. We'll not be like doing anything like on topic or off topic. We'll be doing just good. We're just gonna be messing around. You know, doing some normal stuff. And yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. Also, also and, uh, you know, there's a little bunch of changes to this place, including this thing over there, or a bunch of other things. So I'm gonna be reviewing those after I take a sweet, sweet nap. I said sweet, sweet nap. There we go. Yeah, and I also got an achievement for breeding my horses. I I didn't mean to, but I breed them. All right, in the animal pen. There we go, now we've woken up, and let's check out everything new. First things first, you might be thinking, what is this over here? This is my car, Speedo Steve. Well, it's not a car, it's a horse. Speedo Steve, the golden horse. Now, he normally is from my uh, Dinnerbone horse pen. When I just met, like, when I accidentally rode on him, he rode, like, he was crazy. He was fast as crazy. So I selected him specially as my private a transportation when I'm not using my elytra. It's really cool as you see he's really fast with mount on him. Like look at look at the speed of this thing, bro. He's like he's like a fast horse. Dude, look at the speed of this horse man. That's why I, and also that's why I made this little road out in the out to the open so uh the speedo Steve will have to pass instead of trampling on the crowds. But let's get off him and let's look at this thing right here. This now, at last episode, if you guys don't remember, I fought the wither for the first time in survival mode. But I did maybe equip myself with about three sacks of golden apples, <laughs> enchanted golden apples, by the way. So, yeah, but over, over here we have <clears throat> a reptile. We have Elytra and an Ender Pearl. Now, in the last episode, I, I attempted to build a elevator all the way up. Like, because cause this was actually a Cup Fan 135 design. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my voice. But, <clears throat> this design is by Cup Fan 135. Uh, as you, if you guys don't know, he's a member of the Hermitcraft server, and he designed he designed this elevator when in season six when he uh, raided area when he was doing recon in area seventy seven, and but basically the thing is that you can just get up. It's the most fastest elevator in Minecraft. So you do like this, and you Ender Pearl. You'll hit the block of glass, and then you can glide down like this. And so, so the basic thing is like, it's it's just it's like normally I. He made it really, really far away, so you can actually like watch, like, like actually do air, air recon, which is what his, what he was doing. But uh, I didn't really, I, I didn't really know how to do like the rest of it. Uh, maybe I'll figure it out. Actually, you know what? I'll figure it out now. All right, now we're up top in this glass ball, and I think I could raise this a little bit, you know, just, just like a little bit, just like raise it. I, normally he used a string, but I didn't really like using string because uh, it like string is really small and it really doesn't. And, and, and the ender pole doesn't really hit. So, if you guys don't know, let me explain the mechanics of this. So, basically, you have a Riptide Trident, which basically allows you to launch things as you don't. If you guys don't know, Riptide Tridents, Riptide Enchanted Tridents allow you to basically propel yourself out of water if you have a Lytra. So, basically, if, in the body of water. So, basically, if you're like, you know, in a, in a thunderstorm, you can basically use no rockets, it just use Roger Trident, and it'll do it all. But this elevator relies on that mechanic, but basically, a Riptide Trident doesn't allow you to propel as far as this, so it uses the Ender Pearl as a little bit of a, um, like, support. So if we go back down here, okay, I was hoping to use an electric line. Let's try if this works. So I just want to try, like, it's, because last time I built an auto the world height, which was, uh, too big, unfortunately, so, like, the Ender Pearl just bounced back down. So let's see if this time it works. Oops. Okay, let's try to that again. I hope it's not lost. Okay, see that glass spot right there?
Did it hit it? Why does it always just bounce back onto the ground? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, that's an endermite. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Throwing an enderpearls and endermite spawns, unfortunately. Doesn't work. Alright, screw you. And another endermite! Why there's so many endermites? Get out of here. Get out of here, endermites. Ah. Uh, where are endermites spawning? Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I've got better things to do than just try this out. Uh, it doesn't work. God damn it. Does it work? It probably doesn't, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't. Alright. <clears throat> well, I guess I have to lower this a bit. Do I? Yep, I do. I have to. Let's lower this block of glass. By probably, probably like something like. That. All right, I think I figured it out. So this this elevator now works. So yeah, I've got my elytra equipped as you see right here. And when we do stand right in in this beacon, we turn it up and we throw you in the pearl. Oh, that was a f that was definitely a throw fill. Like honestly, that was definitely a throw fill. Yep, that was f that was a fail. All right, let's try this again. This time correctly. So we. And I still failed. Last time it worked. Just to mind you, last time it worked. All right, I think I need a little bit of patience for this thing. Ender pearl. Huh? Wait, last time it, like, I, I did it off camera and it worked like a charm. Are you serious, bro? You serious, bro? Like, you serious? I did, okay, god damn it. Alright, fine. I'm gonna lower this. Like, it worked like a charm when I was off camera. It's like, ah, oh, god damn it! Why? Just work. God damn it! Why? I just want to have it higher, bro. Does it work now? Hope it does. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, it seems to be like a little bit wrong with my froze. All right, let's try this again. I'm, I'm get, I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna get in a temper if I don't try this out, cause I literally it worked off camera. No. Okay, wrong block. Are you serious? What, are you serious, bro? There we go. There we go. Now it works. So now we can glide all the way across town. Well, not really town. It's just my base. All right. Now it works. So now we confirm it works. Let's work on something else, like patching up the wheat fields, which I'm gonna cut right now because uh, I'm just gonna start it right if like uh, off camera because I just I, I just don't think you guys will like me just seeing me. Just... Also, a little bit. I literally just found out that you can enchant golden horse armor. You can enchant armor. And like horse armor, which I'm gonna probably enchant so to make my personal transportation, Mr. Speedo Steve, a, li a little bit more protected. Like, seriously, personal space, Speedo Steve. I'm trying to enchant armor for you. Also, you might be thinking, why am I not working on the wheat farms yet? Because I'm expanding, um, I'm just adding a little bit layer to this beacon because it's just not giving me the max. Haste to max speed or max jump boost. So I I I don't know how to say about this, but yeah, let's pick this up. 
There you go. Put this on the speed of Steve, and he looks absolute. Does he look? Did, is there like an enchanted glow to it? There's not really, but I think there's actually the enchantments on it. Yeah, there is enchantments. All right, let's look, work on the beacon, shall we? So I, I just don't know why it's not giving me the max like speed. Do I need like a quad beacon to do it? I don't know, but single beacons can do it. But the problem is it's just not doing it for some reason. So I'm really, really confused. But if I add one more layer to this, I think it would work. Hopefully, that is. Let me also drink a night vision potion here because, uh... So I can see stuff correctly. I'll fix this part up, like, soon. Like, just fix this stupid... Like, just basically patch this entire heap of dirt up. But for now, I'm just gonna have to... Do this. There we go. So, and this part in. You know what? I'm gonna add this part last. Anyways, talking about beacons, because this is pretty boring, honestly. <laughs> when you say I see this comic, talking about beacons, I think, like, a little bit of the thing that I wish Mojang added to the game is, like, more effects for beacons, like, night vision, or, like, the glow effect to all entities, so, like, you can see mobs, like, those kind of stuff. That would be useful. Just a little bit of suggestion, because I kind of, like, because people are, like, they, I wish that Mojang added this feature. I'm, like, one of those persons who's, like, I don't know if there's any type of person, but I'm just kind of like the guy who just thinks that it's already enough so that I could like challenge myself so we can build something like, like basically, you know, like there's this, there's like a block palette that like, there's like this type of block tester that uh, Mojang doesn't have added to the game and they're like, oh my goodness, I want, I, I, I really, I really want Mojang to add this to the game and I'll be like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like the person who was like, I just wanna like it's just kind of enough because I just wanna challenge myself what I what ideas are gonna come up with so this doesn't work so what what should I do like what should I what should I actually do? Can't patch this area up unfortunately so we're gonna have to leave the hopefully bats don't spawn I just hope that like the one one block holes doesn't allow bats to spawn because I hate bats because they're just so freaking annoying. Two block space. Uh, block space uh skeletons or zombies can spawn but with one block space i think it's only bats mostly what if we just let the pace area up using sea lanterns we just load it up so that monsters can spawn there you go There we go, now it's giving us speed 2, so I think if we go to speed 2 and get a tick, I should only go super fast right here, it's actually awesome, but now I'm going to drink this milk right here, now you might be thinking why well, I'm removing the effect, because I don't think I'm going to go for speed instead, I'm going to go for like, maybe jump boost, okay, excuse me for punching, it's fine, there we go, now we can have Haste is just only good for. So now, if we have jump boost, uh, 
give me jump boost. Alright, I think the problem here is... Huh, do we have jump boost now? The, def the fact is jump boost. Two. Might just cancel all out. Good luck messing with the effects. These are just, these are only for survival, but if we have, oh, jump is two. And then we put a gold ingot here. Jump is two, tick. Now that gives me. So now, I can have jump is two, which means I can jump up things higher. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and I have, I have jump boost now. That's, a, that's actually cool. All right, Um, now I'm going to... Yep, this drops. I'm going to figure out a place for this shulker box, which I'm going to go over here. There we go. Oh, um, sorry. It's over here. And then, basically, now we can do this. All right, good. So that's done. All right, phew. I've patched up a lot of things right now, and... Yeah, you never jump in a wee field because I have jump boost. But also, a little, a little bit of a point that I want to point out is all the way over there, the beacon doesn't even reach it. So I think I may have to fight the wither trident. I'm gonna have, like do like all get all the beacons vani like vanilla. So like not like go like with the vanilla way instead of like just you know just cheating by giving yourself a free beacon. So yeah, why are they not bro? It's hard. There we go. It's probably like a grand stupid glitch or something. But yeah, I may have to do another beacon. I'm not gonna go quad beacon because uh yeah, but I'm just gonna go it. Like go through it. And also, um you I haven't installed Optifine yet, simply because that the Optifine version for 1.16 and all those versions are actually preview versions. I mean, sometimes people use preview versions, but for me, I play on a really bad computer, so I'm not gonna just like risk out of thing. I mean, I, I mean, I get it. Optifine is like, Optifine is a good like mod. It's like not not one of those files that harm unless you go to the wrong website. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Dang it! One of the always trouble farmland. I, I just really I just really like this uh like the jump boost. You can jump up two blocks. I jump up three blocks. No, you can't. Well, unless you can. Uh, uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, at least you can jump up two blocks. Huh? Where's the effect? Did you just lose the effect? Bro, this. Beacon is a beacon is supposed to cover like 90 block radius, and I don't think this is 90 blocks, isn't it? This is weird, bro. Beacons cover 90 block radius, and I'm not getting any 90 block radius things. What the hell is wrong? I'm a little. I, I'm. I. I. I'm not like 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 doing this. I'm just basically like spamming the right click button and just planting all these seeds. No, it's really really boring, honestly. But it's had to be done. This is the chore episode, episode nine, the chore episode. Basically, you're trying to make a complete square hole and replace all the walls with like resource blocks, and then we're gonna make iron doors to like of like a and then a small little hole. Well, maybe not. I, I don't know. It's just like depends. 
because I can't believe I've been already recording for one hour now. <sighs> Let's just check the time. Wait, just done a bunch of chores and just worked on the beacon. Okay, there we go. Now I've got a complete thing. I'm going to add a scaffolding. No, dang it. Come on. Can I place? Can I even place scaffolding? Can I even, like... Come on. There we go. I'm gonna cover this with a carpet. But for now, I'm just gonna have it all the way down. Alright, now I've got an entire hole around right here. I'm gonna get some diamond. You know what? I'm gonna destroy everything. Diamond. Gold. And emeralds. Really, really valuable stuff. I'm gonna have this part of the wall made of diamonds. Yeah, I'm going to delete the scaffolding first. Well, I'm going to grab some quartz so that we can make a little bit of it later. Like, a little bit like an aesthetic. Just blend, like, a little bit of transition. It's not really a good transition. I just want to do it like this. There we go. And then, you know, knock out a bunch of area. And then replace all of them with diamonds. Cause I'm a rich boy. Normally I just wanted normally I just wanted this base to be like, you know, like there's a farmer and there's a city and all those kind of stuff, but now I just want it to be like a survival base building creative. Just just really what I want. Like some people some, there's like some people don't like like it. It's just my style, bro, it's just my base. And I created it for content. Alright, there we go. And then I'm gonna grab some sea lanterns just for, you know, get the idea. And then I'm gonna So I'm gonna talk, uh, talk a little bit why I play creative instead of survival mode in Minecraft is because like I just like even though this might sound a little bit like I'm lazy or something I just hate gathering resources in survival I just hate the pain of going through a cycle so I just locked myself in creative I may go to survival soon like I may do a let's play maybe like later but for now I'm just gonna go for it. like I'm just, I'm just gonna literally just gonna Stick to creative. Emerald emerald blocks are like a really really ugly block. It's just so freaking ugly. But yeah, basically I just like I just like being building and creative. To really chat more, ch like talk about more stuff while I'm doing this because it's just really boring, honestly. I'm gonna talk a little bit plans for this base. So, if you guys didn't know, like I have a road towards and like another area that I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna like I'm gonna put something in the way to like, cause just to divide it up. But I'm gonna keep expanding this part of the base, like this wheat field part of the base. But then I wanna have like my own um man-made village where I'm gonna populate with a bunch of villagers so that I can trade people, trade with and make some delicious emeralds. And emeralds, so because like I just I just think like a survival like a sur like a base is complete without a village villager trading hall. I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna make a villager trading hall. I'm just gonna make a village. I'm gonna wall it up using probably some fences so that villagers can jump through and zombies can jump through a lot of the entire area. And then I'm just gonna have like villagers roam freely around their houses 
because they can't they just can't like the whole purpose of trading hall is just because that the villagers can't get out. I mean sometimes you can okay I'm getting out of I'm, I'm running out of night visions. No, come on. There we go. So yeah, that's basically the idea. Oh, uh, what what type what should, what should I do for the roof? I think I'm gonna do diamonds. Or maybe quartz. Yeah, let's do quartz. Though maybe a smooth quartz. Yep, smooth quartz the way to go. But, yeah, I'm gonna build a villager trading hall, and aside from the villager trading hall, I think I'm gonna build a, like, I'm gonna build a dream, my dream house in this world at some point. I mean, this, the farmhouse is gonna, always gonna be my house, but, you know, you gonna be a rich man, and you have two houses. I think I'm gonna build, like, one house in the village that I'm gonna build, and I'm gonna build another one, like, another one just separately. Also, guys, I do owe you guys an explanation because uh, I don't know if I've talked about this, but my cat in this house is like the most like our personal alarm clock. But problem is, we can't set my cat to like we can't set our cat to what time does she meows. So because she's the like the loudest cat in the real world. <laughs> world. Like once I, I don't know, but if you have watching my videos like frequently, you will occasionally notice like a meow all the way through because it's just so he she, she's cute, but sometimes she just meows so freak frequently sometimes. Like wait, I don't speak cat. Our entire family doesn't speak cat, so we don't understand her. So yeah, this is just really awkward. It's kind of like an awkward thing, but I mean if, even if I soundproof this place, my cat's really loud. Because I'm a... Uh, okay, whatever. Just keep, just keep mocking this out. Also, guys, comment down below. I really want to see you guys... Like, see your guys' opinion. Do you like quartz or smooth... Like, regular quartz or just smooth quartz? Let me go... Let me get... Let, you, let me know in the comments down below. I was going to do like quartz slabs and then have like sea lantern sticking out of it, but no. Because I've done so much now, I just don't want to lock out, knock out everything again. You know? There you go. Entire floor knocked out. As well, just to give a little bit of good do trouble just with quartz as well. Do a little bit of precision. And then there now up here I'm thinking I'm gonna build a little bit of a chain. Build a chain like it okay, first thing first I'm gonna replace the floor with quartz. Then I'm gonna build a little bit of a chandelier hanging down. Chain is a like chain is really a good fantastic addition to the game, honestly. Hold them like uneven, so that gives the effect. There you go. I'm gonna hang. Can we hang blocks? Oh yes, you can. Oh, that that gives us an opportunity. Well, then now that's really weird. But I'm gonna place some lanterns. Just regular lanterns will do. Give a little bit of a chandelier effect. You know, like a little bit of a chandelier. Nice. Mm. 
Oh no. It's messing with design. This will do. Hmm. Looks really weird, but I guess this will do. But now I'm gonna I'm gonna put this floor completely with sea lanterns and cover it up with carpet. It's kinda like my kinda like my style. I've knocked out the entire thing and I've replaced it with a little bit of carpet. And also, I've knocked out the floor a little bit ground, so there's one block deeper. And now, I think what we'll do is I'm maybe going to put iron doors to certain areas. It's not going to be a big area. It's just going to be a small area. A really small area, just just which is by the way full of chests, little, like it's a little bit like this, honestly. Like just a little bit like this, a little bit of an area. I'm gonna continue the carpet towards here. I mean, like, you could say that this episode is named, like, Working on the Vault, but I just think it's just, like, the episode of No Topic, just the choring episode. We've got an entire uh, room. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of. There we go. Just a little bit of more light, and then I'm gonna put a chest. Put some chests. Two. Can I grab this chest? Come on, like, seriously, there we go. Keeping theme with the carpet, I'm gonna go for a sign wall for this part. There we go, full double chest, boys, and that was all right. Now we're just making the gold room. Excuse me, why do I all like after when I record? Sometimes I just my brain goes a little bit haywire for some reason. That that means locking out sea lanterns, which are supposed to be there. There we go, and then I'm going to put the roof made out of solid gold, and then I'm going to knock out these two parts and make them wool, and then we're going to make a sea lantern floor, and then boom, 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 there we go. Alright, let's do the other side right now. How many blocks is it down? One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And then we knock out the ceiling. Can't see really well. There we go. Now I can see. Make the ceiling a little bit higher in this one. Oops. I told you my mind sometimes go haywire. Like, why ought I be doing that in the middle of recording? Like, oh, just my nose. <laughs> Back 
this way. No, it's, it's emeralds. making the correct measurements. That seems right, all right. The fully emerald room. Put this here, right there. I mean, is it, it like, comment down, comment down below. Would you put the effort to make this actually possible in survival mode? Maybe someone will. Maybe someone. I mean, Luke the Notable made his entire house out of emeralds, so that's a bonus. But like. I don't think di fully diamond wall will be possible though, if it's only single player. I mean, multiplayer like Thermocraft guys, yeah, like they they can mine all the time. Like they have like, cause Concord's rich and he they have like a lot of diamonds, so they paid some diamonds as well. But in single player, maybe not possible. The, like the diamond bit, but but other than that, a seven diamond bit. I think if this is pot like emerald, you can actually farm like farm uh farm them quote unquote using. Um, of course, of course, using a, using, like, villagers, sort of, but it's not really, really, really not really a villager, not really farming, because you've got, like, farming is just basically straight up, like, just pressing buttons, and you can, like, get things automatically, but, in, but, like, villager trading is not really, because you need to write resources, and you need to, like, I mean, you can make, well, Okay, that's not possible. And then we're gonna knock out the final room. Alright, we finished the entire vault. I mean, security. It's really not about security, honestly. But yeah, the vault is finished. It's a place for us to store everything. And, and I think we're gonna end up the episode right here. Oh, no, wait. One more thing. There's one more thing. Where is the exit? There we go. One more thing. Ooh, correctly on point. All right. We got this, and boom. This block. How do I know it's this block? I may maybe if we put like a smooth quartz thing. I mean, it's not really like it's lacking security, but like this, it, like the texture is a little bit different in this. Like they, I would see it's linked, it's linked up a little bit well. And, yeah, I think this is it. If you guys do enjoy this video, alright, let me just go back to the surface. And then, let's do the outro, shall we? If you guys do enjoy this video and like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe for more Flashcraft content like this. We're so close to 100 subscribers again, because somebody has subscribed. Two people unsubscribed, actually, and, uh, yeah, really not happy about that. But now, we're almost to back to 100 subscribers, and... Please just subscribe. Really, just click the button, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.